Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We've got five stories for you this week. We've got a drone ban update. We've got, we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, Green Day concert that was paused for a drone flight. FLIR and Air Data are partnering. Uh, three men in a stolen vehicle were found using a drone. That's actually one of our students. And then Skybrow's updates for everyone. All right, first up, the House has voted to pass the Countering CCP Drones Act. This is a setback that we were expecting and it changes little. Representative Stefanik stated during her speech, over the last seven years, the US government has publicly confirmed time and time again that DJI drones are being used to collect information on US critical infrastructure and pose significant risks to US national security. We're not sure where that evidence is, but we would love to see it. The Countering CCP Drones Act was also passed with the House NDAA. So this bill, it's already been passed before, we expected this to happen. Both bills still must go through the Senate prior to landing on the president's desk. And it doesn't matter what vertical you're in, now is a great time to weigh in on this issue. Educate your senators and representatives. And if you're having trouble with where to start, head over to the DAA website, which we've left a link down below. Next up, Green Day was rushed off stage this week after security spotted a drone in the stadium. Detroit police confirmed the interruption in the show was due to a drone and that the operator was located and detained. Currently, it's unclear what drone was flying and how close it actually got to the band. It's important to note that this event did not qualify for a stadium TFR, and to my knowledge, no TFR was in place. This brings up an interesting situation where a Part 107 pilot could legally operate the Category 1 or Category 2 drone over that stadium, even though security is not okay with it. We'll keep you updated if and or when we see more about that. Third, FLIR and AirData UAV have partnered to provide the Cirrus flight tracking. So if you're unfamiliar with the Cirrus, it's a, a quadcopter made by Teledyne FLIR with a 640 by 512 FLIR Hadron series sensor. It's designed for industry and public safety. The integration with AirData uses Cirrus's offline log export and is not connected to the internet at all, like we see with some others. For users of the Cirrus, AirData is a great tool. It's one that we use for tracking our aircraft's flights, battery cycles, and then if you've seen the video where we crashed the Mavic 3 Cine, determining what went wrong when things do. Fourth this week, a shout out to some students from Gaston County Police. Gaston County Police used a drone this week to assist in recovering a stolen vehicle and arresting three men who fled the stolen vehicle after a car chase. The drone was utilized after officers lost sight of the vehicle when it drove into a soybean field. A Gaston County police officer was part of the drone unit and launched to determine where the vehicle went. Once the police officers found the vehicle, they began to track down the suspects, locating them in the field while the suspects attempted to evade police. All three were taken into custody without incident. Great job, guys. Great use of that drone. Next, SkyBrowse has updated everybody on the freemium plan to light processing. This will increase the quality of all the models from the folks with free accounts. So you're still not paying anything, you're getting better models. If you're not familiar with SkyBrowse, the program uses videos instead of photos to make 3D models from nearly anything. You can sign up for free and start making models immediately. Models can be accessed on any device and can be easily be marked up for measurement and shared as needed. And to wrap things up, check out this clip for something coming next week. Having someone that understands the environment, understands the regulations, understands the drone is just... It's like, okay, I can mitigate this to X. I can't go past X, but I'm not comfortable at X. I'm going to be 100% transparent. It doesn't matter where the job is, I'll get the permission for it. My simple response is, what is your budget? Hey, can you do a job north of Denver? Can you be there on Monday? A resource that is absolutely invaluable. And then I get a call and they're like, oh, the job's in Wyoming. And I was like, well, I guess that is north of Denver. This is Vic Moss talking. This is not Pilot Institute. This is not the FAA. This is not DSPA. This is nobody but Vic Moss. You meet the coolest people, and it always turns into the next job and the next job. His advice always comes back to me, and just do it. Just make it happen.